Hey, it's Mr. Random Pop Culture News for KK, Mr. Manny Wolverine, you guys are rest intros and outros, of course, Gorgeous channel. Follow me on Twitter, X, aka or Instagram, or Bishu, Brighty on Odyssey, aka Rumble, or mine's a Reddit just in case the channel gets shut down. Terry Manny, God forbid, DDoS, D hacked, um, worse, um, Shadow Band by the YouTube algorithm or Google. Anyways, um, before I begin, I was going to talk about some other extra news, but it's like Microsoft and Nintendo related news. They were thinking about banning some weird ass horrorist murderous sort of game, which is so weird. I don't know why, but it's really, really stupid. But it is what it is on that mess. Um, I'll probably talk about it at the end of the video. It's from purebox.com, so there's that. Playing some Legend of Zelda Tears of the King music in the background, just in case you're wondering what that music theme is. So, um, this is from Game Informer. I know this is almost four days old, but I still have to talk about this thing, man. This is one of the most biggest. IPs Nintendo's ever made way back in the day, even more than, almost as big as Mario, you know, probably right next to it, that with Pokemon, Donkey Kong, and then even, uh, I would even go as far as to say, um, <laughs> as Smash Bros. Ultimate, even though I have all the franchises mixed together, and, of course, another big one besides all those three, fourth one, I'm trying to fucking remember which one it was, Ugh. I guess Splatoon nowadays, anyways, Nintendo announces a live-action Legend of Zelda movie by Brian Shea. This is from Game Informer. I have a ref them, like, it's been about three, four months. It's been a while. Um, yeah, let's just jump into it. I might show some safe-for-work artwork in the background, just in case you're wondering what it is. <laughs> this is Nintendo and Era Productions, Inc. have announced the start of the development of a live-action Legend of Zelda movie. The movie will <clears throat> see the Nintendo, Nintendo Legend of Zelda Creator Shigia Miyamoto. I thought there was a Anube dude. Anabe or Anube. I forgot what his name was. Anyways, let's continue on. Return to the role of producer following the Super Mario Brothers movie, which was released earlier this year. That was in the middle of the year. I think it's like May or something or March. I don't know. Let's move on. He is joined by producer Avid Arad. Arad or Arad. It was produced films like 2004 Spider-Man 2, 2008 Iron Man, and 2023 Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. He has also produced a couple of other video game adaptations, including Uncharted in 2022 and The Borderlands, which is slated for a 2024 release. I already read a little bit of that before, but I'm still can continue on to this point. I'll get my thoughts, views, opinions, speculations at the end. Wes Ball, who directed the Maze Runner movies and was well as King of the Planet of the Apes, assigned in to direct the film. The movie will be co-financed by Nintendo and Sony Pictures Entertainment with more than 50% of it being handled. With the theoretical distribution being handled by Sony Pictures Entertainment. It's weird, Nintendo and Sony are rivals from the Sony PS4, PS5 to like Nintendo's all every single video game console they've ever created. They were the kings of video game consoles. That's not even me riding their freaking ass or kissing their ass and sucking their ass or asshole or anything. That's just almost pure fact. Honestly, in my personal opinion. There goes our tweets there. You guys can read that if you want. The announcement follows the runway scenes of Nintendo Universal Studios Super Mario Bros. movie, which grossed to $1.3 billion worldwide at the box office. I don't know if that's domestic or just national overall at the box offices. In March, I asked, quote, Miyamoto, this is what this guy has said, Brian Chi. I asked Miyamoto if he had any other Nintendo franchises he'd like to see more jump to the silver screen through a film adaptation. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised, because they did. <laughs> There's so many other ones. The three that I want to see personally is either the Star Fox here, which I doubt they're ever going to make a live-action movie of that. That one's probably just going to be pure animation. I'm going to get to it in a second, but that one, the Metroid one, that one I would love to see that shit in live-action. Oh, my God. They have the technology and CGI green screen like animation and make a Metroid movie. That one would be awesome. That one and maybe, like, I'd be between Donkey Kong and uh, I'm trying to think of another franchise on Nintendo. You know, F Zero, they only made like a little mini game, like a freaking Battle Royale version of F Zero, like two months ago. I'd still would love to see a live action or animation version of that. That would be fucking badass. And then one more other franchise I'm trying to think of. One of the really, really old like franchises I haven't done in a really long time Super Mario Bros. RPG. That Duck Hunt Dog would be funny. I know nowadays it wouldn't because. A lot of the weapons and firearms stuff that they have. Like, you had to use the zapper, Nintendo zapper. Even though it was a fake plastic toy, pow, pow. I can't say on YouTube, but 
Because nowadays, especially in the United States, that's a very huge issue. I'm not even going to get into that because it leads in fucking politics. I don't believe in that. But back in the day, you probably were able to make a um, freaking video game on that. There's probably never going to be a movement on that, unfortunately. And of course, they did it with live action Detective Pikachu. So if they did it with that, they could do it with any other franchise they have. Let's move on. I almost went, kind of went off topic there. Uh, let's say um, you probably know what with the Nintendo Pictures now as a group. He said, "Whenever we create games, that's one from content. When we create animation, there's another form of content, and we want to continue to expand the amount of content we can produce in terms of announcing, sharing anything. I will try to hold off until there's something really good so and enjoyable. So there's probably nothing to announce in the near future. So I ask you to put all your focus on the movie currently. So Mr. Miyamoto said himself, man." I dude's a billionaire already. I can't believe he's seven years old. It's wild. No additional information has been included to release for the live action Legend of Zelda movie is still available during this time. But um, other now yeah thoughts, views, opinions, speculations. Now I could jump into that bitch. Um, <laughs> there's so many adaptations that could go to this thing. Honestly, I mean I remember like 2000. I don't know if it was 2006 or 07 or 09. One of those three years. I remember I think it was IGN or GameSpot. They did this fake April Fools prank of a live action version of Legend of Zelda. I know some of you Gen Z kids are probably way too young to remember that shit, but it's an older millennial. Oh my god. I freaked the hell out when I saw that shit. I mean, the only three Legend of Zelda games personally I ever really, really loved with a passion was like the Majora's Mask one. I know some people are getting shit on me because I know it's kind of a division divided between some people. 50% of people love it, 50% of people hate it. I like the tune cartoony version of Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. That one was one of the second greatest Legend of Zelda titles in my personal opinion of all time. Fucking hands down was awesome. And the third greatest one they ever made was probably um the one that had Minda in it. I can't believe I don't remember it. And then he had to fight Zant at the end instead of Ganondorf. Ah, <laughs> oh, I don't remember it. Fuck. Uh, I totally forgot what that one was. And I guess if you want to put extra bonus counts to the 1993-94 version, the old school Legend of Zelda, the one that was on Game Boy Color, the original Game Boy. Now it got remade like three years ago. Uh, the one that has that little dragon roost. I think it was a giant fish or a giant dragon. You had to, like, um, it was a giant dragon egg. You had to go all the way on top of the mountain to, like, I don't know, resurrect him or wake him up or hatch him. I can't believe I, my mind is slipping on that motherfucker. Damn it, man. Fucking wish I knew which one that was. Sure, I'm going to have to Google that really quick. Let's see real fast. I'm doing this in real time, too. Um. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. That's what it was. That one now, those are the three best Legends of Zelda games, in my personal opinion, hands down. I know I could go that to the NES and SNES, but those two came out before I was born, 1986-87. I'm born to, like, way later on, 89. But I really, really would love to see one of those three or four games get a live-action video game adaptation. Or put the best fucking girl in this freaking game ever. In my personal opinion, I know this is going to be very, very fucking biased when I say this. I thought she was a billion times. I used to simp, like, hard as fuck for this trip. I thought Minda was way, way more prettier and attractive looking than Zelda was. I know. It's a fucking hot take. I know some people are getting upset at me when I say that because some people really, really like Zelda a lot more. Others people like Minda way more. I I know. And her her little, like, imp goblin version was cute, too. But her human elf version is a billion times more better. And I can't tell you how much fucking toilet paper and um, <laughs> Vaseline I wasted in R34. Especially for this chick. Oh, my God. This one was like the greatest girl of all time. She was best girl. Even more than the girl that was like Urbosa. I think her name was Urbosa or Umbosa. I mean, she was still really beautiful as hell, too. And Riji, too. Riji was really little cute as fuck, too. And that's it. That's all I got to say for now. I'm out of here. Oh, and I really, really hope. Or maybe they put the other chick from Majora's Mask in there. The one that's like. I think her name was Mana or Miana. I forgot what her name I think her was Lana or Mana. It was one of those two names that she had. The one that like always flirts with Link all the time. She's an older one. And she's an older MILF lady, but she was still super pretty as heck, man. I know Link really, really liked her too, I think. I'm not sure. The one that you gotta help with in that cow farm or whatever and the Majora's mask. She was awesome too. Put her in the live action. Movie. That'd be cool. Either her or Mindo. That's it. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen, girls. Damn boys and fingers as always.
Otakus and Nikki Kamodis, I'll see you when I see you guys day, good night, wherever out in the world or universe out there. Stay tuned more future content channel, including video game industry news, I am manga news, for genre news, video game update news, of course, um, once in a while, highlight YouTube reaction news, once every two weeks, actor celebrity gossip news, Elon Musk news, Twitch history drama, kick, TikTok drama news, crazy news commentary, and of course, reaction news segments I do once in a while as well. Take it easy, peace out, my star crowd, later, say goodbye. See you awesome, after the wonderful people on the flip side, take it easy, stay extra safe, such causes. Happy early Thanksgiving to live in the United States of America. Goodbye.